Namaste, this is Uma Venkachalam, holistic healer and a therapist talking to you from Chennai, India. Uh, today I am going to cover the subject called on anger, the cause and the cure of anger. I am shifting from the language Tamil to English from now onwards after completing 100 videos in this channel and now moving on to 101st video on request from uh, my dear friends who are not able to understand Tamil but they, can under they would like to have some healing techniques on these kind of subjects. So hence from now on I think I will be making more videos on English than in Tamil. Now coming to anger. Anger is the most crucial thing in our life. Buddha had told anger is like taking a hot charcoal in your hand and trying to throw it on somebody. First of all it hurts you first and then before it hurts other. That is how anger is. And uh, we have anger at different levels. Uh, to, uh, to For my understanding how I have managed or this are all purely from my experience, I'm sharing this with you, as always. First, we have an important relationship we get angry. One is most important, worldwide prevailing, mother-in-law, daughter-in-law anger. Secondly, anger between spouse, the life partner, spouses. And thirdly, anger with children, our own children. Fourth, anger at the workplace workplace at your work or profession place fifth anger at this social cause like the road is not being built properly laid properly or there is rainwater stagnation or anything of the sort or such an amendment of bill or something like that for a social cause getting angry there are five types of anger that are there whatever could be the anger we can definitely come out of it i have so i can tell you with the, i can vouch on this I have and I am living by it for quite, uh, I think, one and a half decades now, at least. And on that authority, I can definitely talk to you. And uh, predominantly, let us see the variations, what is the difference between these five types of angles. And importantly, I definitely have to tell you, um, flower remedy combination do help in all these five levels. But there is a mild difference between one and two, I find, in the combination of making it. And in case one person has got anger at all level, it's completely a different one. So there is a core cause to all these things and there is a difference in expression of that also in these five levels. So let us see this mother-in-law and father, mother-in-law and daughter-in-law issue that is anger. There is also a portion of jealous because the husband has been brought up, the man has been brought up by the mother and mother feels she has all the right in the son's life even after that, after marriage. Whereas the son sees mother with gratitude. Whereas the son sees, the man sees the wife with the commitment and responsibility. There is a lot of difference between the two relationships. The woman has come into the life expecting the man to take care of her. Whereas at that time, they both want to build a family of their own without the intrusion of anybody else. When we have that maturity only, I think we should get our children married so that they can build their own family in the way they like to do and make their own mistakes and learn from their mistakes. And in case they think they need help, they definitely will come back to us. That's what our ancient scriptures are also saying that we have to go to Vanaprastham. From Grakasthasramam, we have to move, move to Vanaprastham which means it is detached attachment. I will answer when I'm asked if there is, they need clarification. So there is a portion of jealous. Why my husband has been instructed by his mother when I'm seeing my husband to be the hero of my life and the hero has to take decision. Whereas the mother sees the child as a child at any age and they continue to give advice. Why she has come to share my son who has been brought up from the time I have born in my womb. There is a difference. The way how the mother looks at it, at, at the man and the wife looks at the man. For the wife, he is a hero. For the mother, it is always a child. A child can grow to be a parent, but parent never grow to be anybody else. They continue to remain as parent. We have to understand the difference. And then there is a difference. The jealous comes in. The anger with the jealous is there in mother-in-law and daughter-in-law relationship. Uh, in this relationship, mother-in-law and daughter-in-law fights or misunderstanding or fire, 
anger. Whoever is a sufferer, whoever comes to me, it could be either daughter-in-law or the mother-in-law, whoever comes with the grievance, only that person is uh, given the flower remedy and the flower remedy is not given to the person who is causing the suffering. Okay, that could be anybody. But the person who suffers, who comes and tells me, I am suffered because of my mother-in-law, I am suffered because of my boss, I am suffered because of my husband, I am suffered because of my wife. Whoever comes and tells me, that person is only treated, not the person who is bringing the issue. Okay, please understand this. Now, I think a mother, I am giving a piece of, you don't have to go for flower remedy. If you can make the difference in your mind. If you are a mother, and if you find a difference in your, with, uh, with your daughter-in-law, I think we have to start looking at life. Oh, my son has grown so mature because of my brother that he is building a beautiful family of his own. Of course, there will be flaws, ups, ups and downs will be there, but it's okay. It is helping him to get mature. Every experience helps them to get mature. That's how we all have grown from when we were younger to now. So admire the way your son is able to manage the show, take decisions. Learn from the decisions, certain times they uh, pat his back, but certain times it's not. But two things are there. My son is making a family, a building a family of his own. He's maturing, he's becoming a man in full sense. And it is all because of the foundation I have given. That pride you can carry and then the jealous with the daughter-in-law will not be there. And you are the one who have also said nodded your head for the marriage to happen. In Indian scenario that happens always. So we nod the head for the son to get married to the girl and we have to. From the wife's per perception, the man, the hero of your life, anyone has, anyhow, has got the value system foundation given by the parent. And definitely there is some percentage of gratitude looking at the past he will always have. And that is how you want your children to be in future. Look at you with gratitude for all the contribution you have made. When you know, give some space for the mother to come in into the son's life and give some advice. You don't have to follow it. Let her give. Ask her once in a while. It's a lot of peace of mind. This is what we are thinking. What is your opinion? Give some percentage of opinionating on every issue or some of the issues. Then it is calm and cool at home. If we know the difference, then definitely I can tell you this because I've never had any issue with my in-laws. And I, I felt, yes, they can do their part, definitely. From, uh, somehow, from the time I got married to, I never have had any issues with my in-laws. So this, uh, we can do this. And uh, they can, they do a part, but your family is your family. So by doing this, we can come out of the anger with, between daughter-in-law and mother-in-law. Second thing about spouse.